when the uh, when the youth came out in 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 such uh, a powerful way with the books not bombs protests, there was a very strong attack uh, in the media, in the in the mainstream media, from politicians, uh, from from all over the place, and and there was an attack not only on books not bombs but on resistance, allegedly for manipulating you know, young people who weren't really aware of the issues and what they were protesting and just wanted to have a good time and, mm. and I suppose they they in a way they exploited that iconic image of the students at the end of that first demonstration, you know, playing in the in in the fountain mm -hmm. in, in Hyde Park. Mm. But, but what's the truth of it? Were, were the students just you know, is, was there any truth in this, that students were just out to, you know, didn't know the issues and were just out to skip school? No, I've got, I mean, students who wanted to skip school, wanted to wag school, they wouldn't have shown up to the rally. Um, they came to a political rally and spent all day there. Um, and there was, you know, the, the actual sentiment there was very strongly pro, oh sorry, very strongly anti-war. Um, and so they were very conscious about why they were protesting, about what this war was about. And it's not very complex. It's pretty simple, um, actually, that this war was never about democracy. This war was a, a grab for Iraq's resources. Um, but yeah, there were, there were two main lines of attack, um, I think, from, from the political elite. One was, yes, that these are young people who don't know what they're talking about. They're just not mature enough to know that we need to invade Iraq. The second aspect of the attack was that these protests are violent. Um, and so the idea that a peace protest is the, is the, is the violent, you know, peace protest against one of the most violent episodes in, in 21st century history um, it sort of turned things on its head um, but that was the, the by the time we had our second um, rally in Sydney where the attacks were most intense um, the student protest which again on, on, on March 26 2003 um, about 10,000 students turned up again and we were victims of um, quite a savage attack by the police um, so the police certainly had instructions in, our, in my view um, to ensure that what was a very successful and peaceful rally of the first time around um, became something which the media um, could more easily demonise. Um, they tried to demonise the first one, they couldn't. Um, they couldn't demonise it. The worst they could say is that, oh, kids climbing on a fountain, as if that compares to bombing a whole major city um, or ma a whole country. In fact, the media, I think one, one television station was caught out mm. uh, actually trying to provoke you know, and instigate violent mm. a violent clash mm. on May uh, March 26. Yeah, it was Channel 10. Um, a reporter from Channel 10 um, asked a student to throw a piece of paper at him. <laughs> but there was um, and and the student was wise enough to say no. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, but he wanted to yeah be one, the the journalist or so called journalist wanted to film a student being violent. Um, but there was a there was a lot of um, a, a lot of the the um, people who attended were um, uh, kids of, of Arabic background, um, in particular the train lines from sort of Bankstown Punchbowl line were just chockers with students all morning coming in um, to the rally. Is and that some? Is that one of the reasons for the intense attack, particularly on 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 book, books not bombs and and the youth protests? I think so, and there was certainly a, a sort of a racist undercurrent to all the, the coverage about these violent, violent protests because, and certainly the, the police, the way the police um, attacked um, and they were arresting 14, 15 year old kids, dragging them out um, and, and hurling them into paddy wagons, you know, that happened. Um, there was one case I saw of, of a young, young girl, young woman in a hijab, the police ripped the hijab off her, um, which provoked a response from other sort of young teenage um, teenagers around around them, um, but a very predictable one. Mm. But the, the way the media covered that March 26 um, demonstration, the way that they would show just the response of, of protesters, um, not the police police attacks in the first place. When they were there, they had the cameras on the whole time. It did really, really enforce the way that the media turns the victims into the oppressors and, and, the, and the oppressors into the victims. A classic case of media manipulation. And the furor which uh, erupted um, after that March 26 um, demonstration was um, the basis of which Bob Carr, Premier Bob Carr, um, New South Wales Premier, um, that was his justification for being, for what he was actually the only 
um, in the Western world, the only political leader to ban an anti-Iraq war protest in the world. Um, that was Bob Carr, the sole politician in the West to ban uh, a peaceful protest. And he said that there will be no more protests. Um, and they, they said that there was a, a ban on any more books, not bombs, demonstrations. So naturally, we caught another protest. Were there direct attempts to intimidate the organisers of these protests? Um, there were direct attempts, not you know informally. So that in the, we called a protest a week later, um, and uh, certain talkback radio um, um, hosts um, got hold of some of the organisers' numbers, including mine, um, and encouraged people um, who were outraged at get about the books on bombs protests to call us. Um, and so I did spend a week of, of my phone almost never um, or ringing constantly. It was either media who were asking for interviews um, or it was death threats. And that was a continuous whole week. Um, so, yeah, there were constantly people calling up, threatening to kill me, threatening to attack me, no one saying they knew where I live. And these weren't, these weren't kids, these were, these were adults. who just sort of be whipped up into, a, into some kind of frenzy. Um, generally, you just didn't pay any attention, you hung up on them. But... Um, that was the, the intimidation, though, came from the threat from the police. The intimidation was that you will not be allowed to protest. It's a legal, a legal demonstration, um, and that we will prevent you from protesting. In the end, we, we, we continued. We, we decided we were going to protest, and we put a call out for support as well. Um, we reiterated that we wanted a peaceful protest. We had every, every right to protest against the violence which was being prepared by our government in Iraq. And on the day... Um, it was in early April um, when we had the protest. Um, the numbers were, were much smaller. Um, there was a, a thousand protesters. But many of them were not students in this case, many were adults as well who came in solidarity, came to support us. Um, but the whole protest was kettle. Um, there was as many police there as there were students um, and they surrounded um, the protest in Town Hall Square for the entire afternoon. Um, and they prevented us from marching. Um, but in the end, the fact that we held that protest and that it went off peacefully, and you did have journalists running around trying to, trying to find sort of ways or angles to, to, to show what they'd said, that this is going to be violent and this resistance is just planning, planning violence and manipulating kids into violence. Um, in the end, they couldn't show that. Um, so and that's, that was a success on that level, but it was also a success in, in the fact that so many students still, despite the enormous pressure which been, would have been on them from parents and teachers, etc., um, um, to, to not attend, so many still did show up, um, which was, you know, it's a very rare thing. You can't get that kind of, um, uh, I guess, response in any normal times. It was a time where certainly a lot more people were prepared to reject what they were told by, by authority figures.